Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas yesterday and got everything that you asked for. Um, and today we are going to be doing another Forzathon guide. Uh, I know it's only Boxing Day, but these Forzathons keep on coming, so I'm going to keep on providing the guides for as long as I can do. Now, this week's one called Swords to the Plowshares wants you to own and drive any vans and utilities vehicle. So obviously, all you have to do is filter them uh, and see which ones you've got. Now, for the first couple of challenges i'm going to use the 2011 ford transit super sport and then for the final one i'm going to be in the 2014 hsv limited edition uh malu now i'll tell you why later but the first two challenges it doesn't really matter what you're in just as long as it's tuned and it's fairly quick which is why i went for my 1100 brake horsepower transit van so the first challenge here wants you to do a total of 26.2 miles now the actual challenge itself only showed me to do 13.1 miles or something which is quite bizarre um, but I'm not complaining because it's literally half of the distance that the actual challenge says for you to do in the sort of the subtext but the actual challenge uh, goal itself is only showing up as 13 miles I don't know if that's just for me or a handful of people but like I said I'm not complaining so all you have to do all I did was drive up and down the motorway in your van until you hit that target now the second challenge wants you to earn five thread in the needle skills in your vans or utility vehicle. Now I'm sure we all know, by now know what this is, um, but I definitely recommend first of all going into Horizon Solo where there's a ton more AI driver tars um, and there's a lot more traffic to weave in and out of. So we all know that a thread in the needle skill is where you sort of get two near misses by weaving in between cars. So you get a near miss on the car on your right and a near miss on the car that's on your left hand side, or you can just sort of dodge in and out of them but it's fairly easy as you saw there i literally got about four of them uh, in the space of less than a minute now for the final challenge here it wants you to get three stars um, on the jump at the rail yard uh, ramp danger sign now like i said at the beginning i swapped cars to the 2014 hsv limited edition as you can see there is the tune that i used for it um, which was called fastest van now there is the rail yard ramp uh, and for a total of three stars it wants you to get 700 feet now in the transit van it just wasn't happening i was always getting close but it was never actually hitting it uh, as soon as i tuned up the malu first time easiest pie over 700 feet as you can see here so it's a nice and easy one you want to be hitting that ramp at a minimum of 135 mile an hour to hit the target um, and just sort of what i did is when you get start there when you get to the ramp drive away in a straight line away from the ramp um, and then turn around and obviously facing directly at it just before the train tracks and then all you have to do is put your foot down from there uh, and you shouldn't struggle very much using this holder malu but like i said with the transit it just wasn't happening for me uh, anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope this helped you out if of course you are sitting sat there playing your xbox for all i know you could be sat downstairs watching eastenders um, because it's boxing day and it's all about spending time with family around the christmas period but if you do hop on the xbox then i really don't blame you because i've managed to get away and do that um but anyway i want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support i hope you've all had a fantastic christmas and stay tuned as i will be doing a ginormous giveaway uh in the near future literally before the new year starts so a massive thank you all the best take care